flora and fauna on the dunes. Our first impression upon seeing the dunes bordering the beach is that there are few plants and barely any animals. However, if we stop to take a closer look, we start to notice differences between certain plants, between those exposed to the winds of the sea and those that are sheltered. There are a total of 35 different species with names such as the sea daffodil, cottonweed, knotgrass, runemark and milk thistle. The names of these plants give us a hint as to the environment and conditions in which they grow, marine life. To better understand the conditions experienced by these plants, we might imagine ourselves in their place during the month of August. In the midst of summer, the sand can reach temperatures of up to 50 degrees Celsius. The heat is stifling and there's no rainfall in August. Where do they get the water they need to survive? They have deep roots that seek moisture in the lower layers of the soil, but they also have a web of smaller roots near the surface to capture the moisture from the morning dew. Moreover, their leaves are small and have a waxy or furry surface, and they are curled up in order to leave the smallest surface area possible exposed to the sun, thereby preventing water loss through evaporation. On the other hand, in the month of February, in the dead of winter, the strong winds blow sand over these plants, leaving them buried or even uprooting them. They need to have a strong root system to hold them in place. If the plants on the dunes are small, so are the animals we can observe here. Beetles, butterflies, snails, lizards, caterpillars and the like. They must also adapt to the environmental conditions, coming out in the evenings and at night when the heat has subsided. They take shelter under the plants in search of the cool temperatures and moisture. Or like snails, they may climb to the tips of plant stems where the sea breezes blow. As soon as we take a closer look, we can see hundreds of animals living on the dunes.